All right. Let's do this. So there's a B movie from 1989 called Deathstalker 3, The Warriors from Hell, which got an IMDb rating of 2.8 out of 10 stars. And I guess we're gonna look at some of it. I've gotta warn you, this scene is so abysmally cringy, it might actually be a visual carcinogen. Let me put on some eye protection. Maybe it'll help a bit. I can't fathom what sort of dark, perverted ritual magic it takes to twist human minds into not only conceptualizing such an abysmal performance, but to enact it, edit it, and then take a good look at the resulting colossal mess and say, yup, looks good, time to put it on the big screen. In the words of a famous nerd, it's a catastrophe of ass. It's got classy lines like, Death's talking no! Somebody should have said no to the director. This, by the way, is the best visual effect of this entire scene. I'd rather look at the glowy rock for an hour and 26 minutes than subject myself to the entire orchestra of clownish, corny acting with dollar store props. Show me your war face. Uh. So in this scene, Discount Dolph Lundgren here has an altercation with a middle-aged office worker on his way home from a low-budget theater play of men in tights. He has no clue how to use swords or uh, silver painted plastic toys. Watch out though, he might be an energy vampire. Here we can see how the hero's plot armor magically compels the villain to use both sword-like objects in unison, forfeiting any sort of advantage one might get from wielding two weapons against one. And of course, a counter would be rude. We can't have anything resembling actual sword fighting now, can we? So let's just angrily push the opponent's sword away. That'll teach him. This is the part where they almost make an effort to make it look at least like a generic campy movie fight scene. It's cheesy and ridiculous, but at least the actors aren't actively insulting the viewer's intelligence as much as they're going to. Be warned, what comes next may haunt you for months. Just come and take her. You'll have to take me first. Oh my. Oh. Oh, I can't describe to you the amount of mental and physical pain this cringe ballet inflicts on me. Oh crap, in a pinch he can use a special animal form. Presumably one that relies on moving the weapons out of the way and presenting a larger target in order to entice your opponent to stab you, thereby trapping his blade inside your body and preventing further attacks. Thus you can draw him in and hug him to death. Can the hero hold a candle to such an enlightened tactic, or will he be snuffed out? Looks like the hero will need some time to free himself from this precarious and highly homoerotic entanglement. By then, his opponent will have had plenty of time to sniff his hair. Seriously, dude. Okay, all puns aside, this is the most awkward scene since the time Steve Martin and John Candy had to share a hotel bed in planes, trains, and automobiles. Between two pillows. Those aren't pillows. You know what would be less torturous than watching this? Doing taxes. Th th did this really just happen? Oh yes, I'm afraid it did. This dork bunny hops up some furniture and creepily touches Mr. Office Drone on his bald spot while he bumbles about with the awareness of a stone sloth. What were they thinking? And of course, while the hero is taking a quick nap after his graceful cat-like leap, instead of attacking him, the world's most incompetent villain decides to throw a blanket over him. This whole thing is really just some wacky foreplay to you, isn't it? One tries to thrust, the other guy's response is to lay down in front of him. And now they just keep pushing and grunting. Why are you gay? And of course it ends with penetration. And then he explodes. No, that's not a euphemism. He literally explodes. There's probably some magical shenanigans to explain it, but there's no way I'm going to read up on the background story. I've lost enough sanity to the cinematic crime against humanity already. 
All I want to know is why the VHS tapes didn't commit teipuku and explode into a shower of sparks just to escape the shameful fate of bearing this abomination. So there you have it. I'm not sure it's physically possible to produce more horrendous movie fighting than this, but I really hope it's not. And I also hope you found this entertaining. Maybe that made it worth the pain. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'm just gonna go take a shower now and try to scrub my brain with a toothbrush.